So first we'll work with the customers. So who are all your customers? So different organization have different definition of customers. Right? If you go to a hospital, their customers are nothing but the patients. They, they don't call them as patient, uh, customer, but they are the one paying for your business. Right? If you go to an educational institute, I mean the students will be the customers for your for you. Right? So different business, it is different. Uh, customers right so Microsoft has tain, uh, tamed a or coined a tame known as XRM CRM is customer relationship management instead of C you have mentioned X that means X stands for anything right? so what they are saying is uh, CRM is a X XRM platform which is uh, domain agnostic which can be implemented in any domain be it is educational sector or is in a, um, I mean financial sector anywhere you can I mean implement this one so in such an environment your customers can be anyone like your vendors your employees your recruiters your students patients suppliers or anyone okay so when come to dynamics here what are the entities that you use to represent your customers so basically there are two types of customers you are already familiar with that accounts and contacts right so now here we need to we need to give some some what you call uh, some effort to understand that customers can be different in different environments what i mean by that is in a b2b scenario business to business like uh, your company hp is providing a service to city bank both are businesses right in that environment we you your customers can be your accounts or else in a different way um, you can represent your, your customers by accounts because city bank is an organization right they are your customer in a B2B scenario, your customers also be an organization. So you will use accounts to represent them. So accounts are companies or organization that your organization deal with your, during your business. It can be your partners, your suppliers, vendors also. But in a B2C scenario, business to customer, like for example, Amazon is selling the product to the individuals, right? That is a B2C, B2C scenario. So your customer is a contact there. It's an individual. So you, in that scenario, you won't be using accounts in a B2C scenario. You will be using contacts to represent your your customers. But again, in a B2B scenario, you will have both accounts and contacts because accounts represent the, your customer, the organization, and contacts represent the people, the contact in that organization. But in a B2C scenario, you will not have accounts. You will only have contacts. Contact represent individuals who are representing the company you are dealing with, like purchasing manager, sales representative, etc. So either of these or both of them will be used while you are representing your customer. So there is no entity called customer in CRM. It will be represented by two entities, accounts and contact. 